An early morning house fire in Escondido left an elderly man with burn injuries and sadly claimed the life of his wife. It happened in the 2400 block of Alexander Drive. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal spoke with family members and neighbors of the victim who are also devastated over her death. Well, this was an intense fire that burned for a long time. If you take a look behind me uh, there on the table are photos and mementos uh, that firefighters have been retrieving for the family uh, from inside the home. And if you pan further down, you can see the garage right there. The roof caved in. Firefighters are working inside there right now. If you pan a little bit further on, you can see the roof of the home uh, collapsed as well. Now, I spoke to the victim's son who was inside the burning building early this morning. He was asleep when he was rescued by firefighters. Sadly, his mom did not survive. They were one of the first to come welcome us into the neighborhood. They have lived here forever. They've been an anchor to the community for years and years. Tanya Scott woke up to the sound of firefighters at her neighbor's home across the street. I woke up power about 2.30 to the sirens in the area. We've seen fires come this way before, right, in the past. Um, but this one was super close. Flames shot into the sky. According to sheriff's deputies, a driver on the freeway saw the fire and called 911. Escondido Fire Battalion Chief Tyler Batson. The fire was very well involved when we got here. Um, we left from all the way across the city and you could see the smoke column and, and, and the flames from all the way across the city. Firefighters found a man in his 80s outside the home suffering from smoke inhalation and burn injuries. He told them his wife was still trapped inside. They were able to get her out, but sadly, it was too late. She died at the hospital. Cruz rescued her son. Off camera, he tells CBS 8 he wasn't physically hurt at all, though it was clear the pain of losing his mother was just setting in. Her name hasn't officially been released. A family friend told CBS 8 her husband is the founder of a church in Escondido and was the pastor there for many years before he retired. They're the kind of people where you just know in the next life they're going to be okay because they just look after people. So my heart goes out for them and their family, but they just have blessed so many lives. And firefighters say they will be out here for the next 24 hours monitoring for hot spots. Uh, the cause remains under investigation. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.